There's so many words. Where are all these words coming from? Oh, Jesus. Is that a word? It is. I'm just being bombarded with words. So Aretha had forcibly made me. I forced this book upon you. This amazing book upon you. She, well, okay. So I guess you forced me to read Bridgerton book two first. And I was like, that's terrible. And you were like, you know what? I got a better book for you called Firelight. It takes it up a notch, right? So I read this book. It's about a woman in Regency era England, Victorian era England, that has some kind of supernatural ability to control fire. And then she meets this tall, dark, mysterious stranger who has some special abilities as well. We don't really get to know until the very end of the book. And they fall desperately, madly, deeply in love with each other <laughs> right when they see each other. And then we're slowly unraveling the mystery of the tall, dark, handsome stranger. Mm. And that's the story. And then right when you get to the last chapter, everything's revealed. This book is 99% them desperately, madly wanting to maybe <laughs> do something to one another. Yeah, pretty much. Like, they're just like breathing <laughs> deeply on one another. Yeah. And they're like, ooh, if I could just... Ooh, if I can, and almost, and ooh, and you better be, uh, and that's 90% of this book. Yeah, but that's what readers, especially for romance, like. That's what they enjoy. They like that, like, slow burn, that slow, like, wanting, I mean, that's, that's what you read it for. But I think she wrote really well, <laughs> wrote all those really well. Like, normally I... If someone were just reiterating this to me, I'd be like, that sounds super creepy and weird. It but is reading super it, creepy and no, weird. No, but reading it, she does it well. It's great. This book is tedious. Like, she will go very in-depth about one situation yeah. and explain how their hand is placed and how his eye is a little twitchy <laughs> and how he's breathing and then how his heart is but beating women like in his that. chest. And how, like... He's the smell of him and the smell of her and how her vagina is throbbing. That. And I'm just like <laughs> lost in all of these details. I'm like, why is this important? And why did I read seven paragraphs about that? Because it is important. This is what, you know, romance readers, because not, it's not just women. They, this is what they want. They love all those details. It's like the buildup. It's, that's what's important. So let me read you. Um, it's what life's quote. about, man. Let me read you a quote that just shows how like tedious no. and this whole thing is because there's so many details. It just makes it like very tiring to read through no, all of the not. details. It was like, Jesus. It's not tiring. Over, how many pages are in this book? Nearly 400 pages. 372. Nearly 400 pages well, that's what of her. Looked in detail describing where their hands are and how the distance between them and how he almost took a step but then he took a step back and then he thought about something from the past and how he's deeply in love with her but it wasn't done badly it was done really well i felt like everything was written purposefully and gracefully and it was great i got i i, I felt honestly the overall book of it was super cinematic like I could see this happening in like yeah. a like a TV series or a movie. It's very like I it's visually I can I'm there with yes, it. Yes. You're right. 100%. Because she details everything but not to in a where bad way. if you storyboard this for a movie, great. You got everything you need, make the movie. I mean, that's Even the true. audiobook. If you make the audio, if if I were listening to this on audiobook, great because I wouldn't have to put any effort into actually reading all of these words. There's so many words. Ugh. Where are all these words coming from? Oh, Jesus. Is that a word? It is. I'm just being bombarded with words the entire Good time. Good words. Meaningful words. Useful words. They all have a purpose. Let me Damn read this it. quote. So I can prove to everybody, no. every 12 of the people that are watching <laughs> this video, that I am not wrong. Well, 12 of you will totally be in agreement with me. Stop hating on this book. Okay. You love it. Here it is. Here it is. Chapter 19, uh, page 173. He tensed, as though preparing to shrug off her touch, and her hand fell to her side. She closed her eyes and shifted forward so that they were closer still. Just to be near him, they stood in silence, breathing the same rhythm, slow, deep, and steady. The heat of his body mingled with hers, the space between them as small as a change in breath. A quiet trembling took hold of her, you have no reason to be jealous, she whispered again. The soft wool of his coat brushed her lips when he turned. Gray eyes gleamed like moonstones as he stared down at her, his breath coming in sudden disjointed draws. Oh my god! 
so many details about literally, literally how he touched her, <laughs> how his hand fell to her side, how her eyes had closed and shifted a little bit. They stood in silence. He had to explain how there was no noise at all. And then their breathing was in the same rhythm. We have to know that. Um, <laughs> the heat of his body. We have to know his freaking temperature of his body. Yeah, yeah pretty much. The space yes. between them. How he was quietly trembling. This, And then if that detail is not enough, you, we have to know that his shirt had lightly brushed her lips. Because I feel oh like, was it, at this point, were they together? I don't think they were together just yet. I feel Who cares? Like, They're deeply, madly in love with each other for 99% of this novel. Yes, They're together they the whole thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Whether they know it or not, right? No, I think that those little bits of information, those little moments for, uh, you know, a relationship like theirs, all those things are super meaningful. It's still kind of new. Everything matters. You but feel it, like, I, I, I definitely feel like the writer pulled you into these moments because of those little small details. Maybe it's a lot of words. Maybe it's a lot of things. But it's done really well. I mean, the writing is amazing. The writing is it's good. It's legit amazing. The writing is very good. One I of the best that. I've read so far in all the books that I've read. She's a great writer. I admit that. But if you're telling me she's trying to pull us into moments, yes. I would say bullcrap because these are not moments. She's giving us the entire novel is like this. Yeah. We're and not I, being pulled into moments when the entire novel is it, that. And I feel like I lived that life. And that is the whole purpose of reading. To because live it was so detailed that lives. it transported you. Yes. You were her. Yes. Or him or whatever, whoever so, you see yourself okay. in. The character. The book just has too much detail for me. Mm -hmm. And then and then they're 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 okay, let's get past the detail. Let's get past the detail. No, no, no. Let's move into well, no, the No, 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 but one thing though, one thing. Okay. <laughs> of course there has to be detail. When it's a horribly written book and there's so much detail and it's just boring and it's long drawn and all this stuff and none of it matters or none of it has any point to it, that's when it's horrible. This has so much detail because it is needed and necessary and there's purpose. It's it's just perfect. I disagree. Lies. It's not needed. It's unneeded. No. Superfluous Superfluous. <laughs> no. Superfluous. <laughs> like, I can understand, like, you want to describe, like you said, a few moments, and you're building to that <sighs> moment, and there's a climax. But she's world building. But it's not. Like, it's just all the time She's that. world building. You are these characters. You are living this life. You are there, and she does it so well, and I truly felt like I was Miranda, and I was going through this, and it was great. It Tell was great, and I didn't want it to end. In the comments, am I right, or is Aretha... Wrong. I'm right. All true <laughs> readers will be like, she right. <laughs> she right, though. She right. Uh, and then, okay, so let's get past the detail. I think we beat that horse deadly. Um, let's get to the romance of this novel because this novel, I think you would agree, is their relationship. This novel yes. is all about their relationship. Yes. And they are madly, deeply, super duper in love right when they see each other. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they cannot make love to one another. So they are like grinding on each other <laughs> most of the time. No, it's because... Super hot and heavy. No, it's because he hasn't shown her his true like image, like what he looks like underneath his mask that he's always wearing, yeah. which is super creepy. And that freaked me out, like the whole book. I was like, that's He's got a mask, a mask and then and like a mask? Yeah, like a piece of cloth that's like stretched yeah. over his face that you can't really see. Yeah. And it's because his body has been transformed. So he's like yeah, this paranormal being and he doesn't want to frighten her off he does love her and but he's a hideous beast and he feels that way and when you feel ugly you don't think anybody's gonna love you That's but like funny. she but what he doesn't know is that she loves him like truly and she's like, I really don't even care what you look like. Or maybe I do, but I don't think I do, you know? And that's fine. You know, he had a secret and we're unraveling that secret. I didn't have a problem with that. And I... also he has super strength. So maybe he was afraid of hurting her. So I... I don't want to hurt the person I love, like physically, to where they die. That reminds <laughs> me of that movie Will Smith called Hancock. There's oh, a scene in there it. where he's having sex with some lady of the night, I believe. And he has to throw her off when he's about to... Uh, oh. because he doesn't want to kill her. And then they do like a pan out shot of his trailer and there's like holes in the ceiling. 
that's so funny. So that's what I thought was gonna happen, but Maybe no, not. it's it's totally not like that. I anymore. know, and that when he reveals himself, it's not that horrible. I was like, that's not bad. You're being a drama queen. I know, but it's like someone who has like a weird toe or something, right? Like so, they feel really self conscious, and they think the whole if their toe's bad, the rest yeah, of them is not. We're, so. we're doing it with my socks on the whole time. Yeah, Sorry. exactly. But this book like we were describing is very detailed so they get very detailed into these moments where they get hot and heavy and they're basically just rubbing up against each other mm -hmm. there's this one funny scene in the very beginning where they get attacked and then he chases after the attacker and he loses them in an alley and they're both in an alley oh yeah and then they just start <laughs> going at it like teenagers on prom night in an alley i know i'm like excuse me this is regency era england okay <laughs> they do not have good plumbing yeah it is historically proven that dirty. that place smells it's terrible. Well, so you're telling me like, you're going at it in a dirty, stinky alleyway? But you know, that's another thing too. Kristen Callahan, throughout the entire series, because I've read all of them, that she's constantly telling you smells and things of places. And so you do know oh, and you recognize oh. that things are disgusting, dirty, and really That was smelling another thing foully, that really but... like surprised me. I was like... Reading the description of so many smells throughout this book, I'm like, why? Why is romance. this important? Haven't you noticed that in all romance books, smell or flowers important. or things like that is always referenced? Because I, I'm not saying smells are not good in fiction. Like right. I do like the reference to smells, but it's, it's like heavily, a dozen I times know. in a chapter. I know, and it's throughout the entire series. There's a lot of smells of smells. This could be an easy <laughs> scratch and sniff story. I know. Like you should have like cool. a little thing. Willy Wonka thing. And she's like, this smell smells it. like lavender. Open box six. And you oh open. my God. Oh yeah. There. That is such a good idea. That's super interactive. <laughs> I love that idea. With how many smells in here? She could easily have like a page of different smells and you got to scratch and sniff I it. I love that. Like go back to three. Okay. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that moment, I think because they were just almost killed or someone was almost assassinated, things like that. You know, your adrenaline's going and things. And they are, con like, they are magnetic, you know. They're magnetized to each other. So it makes sense oh that that happened. Oh, my God, they're magnetized to each other. Like, I feel like this book is mostly about how um, he is so big and powerful and strong and he must bow down to her vagina. Like, <laughs> this book is just vagina worship. No, like, I definitely... She always is, or they are always in a position where they are, like desperate for one another like they're not in love like they're insanely in love yeah madly truly deeply like you said in the beginning <laughs> love it and, first even side, like it, and they're also meant to be together it's kind of like the faded mates like they're yeah. meant to be together especially in paranormal and things like that which that that's what this is a lot of that is prevalent i mean that's it the faded mates that's what they are and throughout the series it's kind of the same thing all of them are faded mates Again, it, he's it in, makes sense that they're super intense. He, he's not in love with her. He's insane. Yeah, they're into. It's an intense. He's insanely love. in love intense with her. Let me read this love. quote from chapter nineteen. He'd lost his mind. He didn't care. He was somewhere hot and delicious, <laughs> and he was surrounded by Miranda. Her supple warmth, her luscious plump mouth. He sank into the kiss and learned her flavor. How many scenes do I have to read about them, <laughs> like, super extra passionately almost doing something? <laughs> but isn't that nice? And I, I also want to say about the books, all of her characters um, are strong females. What Most of them are the, the lead characters yeah. in all of her books. There's, there's a couple that are male-driven, but, I mean, all of the women are strong, independent, fierce, like, you know... And so it's nice to see also from the male's perspective, like how much power the woman has over them. Yeah. And because you don't really see guys always being like so, you know, carefree with their feelings or emotions or being uh, vulnerable. I mean, I think she does it really well where she's making them be vulnerable because of the love they have for these women. And what, it what works is, for me. I don't what know. is the it's desire so nice. for women to see men crying and vulnerable? No, I, like, I, I don't like seeing dudes cry, but it's nice to see like the emotions that men also feel. Because for me, speaking for myself, when you see a man who's comfortable in being in those states, it's so refreshing. It's so nice. It almost makes you feel like think more highly of them because they're not afraid. They don't really care about anybody's thoughts or feelings. They're like, no, I have feelings. I'm a person. And... This is what's important to me. Miranda, she's my whole world. So, she's everything to me. And that, what's wrong with that? That's great. And I do like the idea 
that this story is building up powerful women. And I thought Miranda was a very strong woman. We learn later that the antagonist of the story is also a woman. But why, when you're building a story about powerful women, does the ending battle come down to two women fighting over a man? I know, that's crazy. It basically boils down to a cat fight. I know. Like, that does not support your idea that this book is about woman power when essentially I know. I know the man is bowing down to her, her vagina but he <laughs> is basically bowing down to his penis like who's gonna fight over this penis no who's gonna win this penis? she wasn't fighting over that she was fighting over their love oh, were they not that lady was trying to take were they him? not what fighting the over his penis let me read a quote <laughs> to you let me read a quote to you how this 400 page novel Stop. ends okay this is how it ends Oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to read this. Stop. Chapter 34, page 286. They had, okay, let me just preface this <laughs> quote Let's I'm going to read Let's set this up here. You. Let's set this up. They had just got out of the battle, the climax battle at the very end. Miranda right. and the antagonist had fought to the end. Yeah. And the resolution has come about. We all feel like vindicated and we made it, right? Even the reader, we're like, oh, we all made it. And the very last page literally has this quote. His ruddy penis lay against his thigh. The dark sack of his balls nestled against his black hairs. Um, this is an odd way to close the book. They just fought, they just fought a demon, were cleansed by supernatural fire, and came near to death. There is so much that can be focused on here, but instead, the last image we get is of this man's penis. Well, I mean... And you're telling me this book is about woman power? Priorities. I didn't say it's about that. Or I said a there is. Woman? It, like, there, that's in there. It's a good portion of it. But it is a romance. Okay. And it's. I think it's also like a paranormal erotic romance. It is romance. barely so paranormal. It, it is sense. barely paranormal. No, because I will it put says, more emphasis on the erotica portion. Right. Okay. Yes. But that's because it's, the, it's book one. Book two. Book All the other books... Okay, oh, don't try to seven. lure me into these there's, series by promising there's, more supernatural There's seven, elements. and with two, like, half, like, 0. 0.5, there's one before and one after, like, two or three or something like that. So there are multiple, there's, like, eight or nine books, technically, I guess. But it gets more paranormal. There's more werewolves, there's more vampires, there's more things like that. Is it there's gonna like, be like, oh, there's a vampire, and, but let's bang it out oh, for 19 chapters and then let's get back to the vampires? People. No. Like, I just... No, because you lured me into this. You oh, you lied to me. <laughs> There's Gims, We read Bridgerton, cool. and then you were like, no, this is totally better than Bridgerton because it's supernatural. It is! I read it. It's barely supernatural. He has some kind of weird mystery we got to solve. That's barely interesting. And she has the ability to control fire, which through most of the she's novel... She's elemental. She makes, like, a flame flicker. She's, and they're like, oh, my God. She's an like, elemental, okay? So you have to read the rest of the book. It's setting yeah, up this world. I want more of that is what I'm saying. They don't give so me nearly so, enough. So there's book two, there's book three, there's book four, there's book five, there's And book I don't want to read book two and read 90% it of it to be just better. smutty sexy. And actually, this isn't my favorite one. I actually prefer number two and three because now we're going into her sisters who are also, you find out also are elementals and there's werewolves, there's vampires, there's ghosts in the machines, which are awesome. Oh my God. Demons. You have more angels. You have fairies. You have fae people. Like it gets so cool. This entire world is amazing. And, and this is just amazing. building the foundation and then... It's like this jumping off point, okay? It gets and that amazing. amazing. And this is amazing. And I want amazing. that. I want to read that. I want to dive deep so into continue. it. So continue. But I don't want to read smutty romance in between all of them. Like, I get that they're deeply madly in love with another, but I am not going to sit through 300 Whoa. pages to read 100 pages about some very interesting supernatural elements like you described. Yeah, really cool. Like, well, don't, maybe Kristen don't Callahan. Don't lie to me. Well, maybe she'll write some books without any of the smut you are referring to, <laughs> and have a super boring just book for you. Yeah, okay? just supernatural elements. Cut out yeah, the two hundred pages because literally, like, I think I took a note of it. Oh, you know what I could do? I could read them, and I can just edit out all the all the smut stuff <laughs> and give you what's pages. left. Yeah, Rip I'll just give all you the what's pages left. Of the smut. Say, look, enjoy, because it's, it's like a pamphlet left over. <laughs> I know. The one that no one wanted. It's just left there all crinkled. Got mashed up in between other brochures. Good. You can't deny her writing's amazing, though. She Her writing is very good. I really liked her writing. Actually, yes. okay, so to put a positive spin 
<laughs> on my review, I guess. The detail that I was complaining about in a lot of the other parts of it really do contribute to the overall story. And mm -hmm. let me read a quote from chapter six that shows you this. The rotten sweet stench of death drifted from its edges as he slowly pulled the ribbon free, a thick cream colored vellum envelope and something below it, he could feel it, rolling about along the bottom of the box. He lifted the card, his fingers trembling as he did, and he spied what lay beneath. Glossy, despite its yellowed surface, oblong and laced in red, the thing might have been mistaken for a rotting, hard-boiled egg if one overlooked the gore of veins trailing from the end of it. He well knew what the hideous gift was, an eye, a human eye. Oh, amazing. And as the books progress, there's more blood, there's more gore, and it's awesome. Be. No, it it's she is amazing. I'm like, has she received an eyeball in the mail in a box? Because <laughs> I feel like she has. I don't and know. This was at the beginning of the story, and it's very detailed, and I was like, oh, that's fantastic. Fantastic. But and then we continue on, and the rest of the story is so detailed, and it's so like taxing to read because of it. I felt like the first quarter of this novel referenced back to the epilogue. Or the beginning right. where they first met. Yeah. I'm like, how many times do we got to go back to that, man? Well, because that's where it all started. I get that. But hey, and if you want, there's a book the before. Book? There's oh, a book God, before man. if you want to read that. No, huh? I When good. she uses her fire. When the actual oh, incident. Oh, when she burned down her dad's When she burned down, yes, the, stuff. the business and or the warehouse or whatever. And more about Archer and all that stuff when that started. So if you're interested. They are interesting characters separately. So you're telling me they don't get to interact? I believe so. So I, I think that's good because then we can remove their sexual tension well, and then just learn about them separately. It ends to where they do end up meeting. Oh, like there, but not. It's Always. not. But it's a really short. It's short. It's like a. It's, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I do like her covers. Man, I'm yeah, telling really you, cool. the the book summary on the back, the cover, all got me very interested in a paranormal romance. Mm -hmm. Paranormal romance. Paranormal. I know. First romance. Second. I know. No, wrong. Erotica, erotica, <laughs> erotica, and maybe a little bit of paranormal. <laughs> because she's, she's just saying, hey, let me get you hooked up, you know, hooked in here, and then the next book will be way more paranormal. Whoa, look at this. She got a quote from Diana Gabaldon? Yeah. Hey, look at that. I know. Big time. Uh, Diana says, Callan has a great talent for sexual tension and jaw-dropping plots. All right, I should have took her word for it. And she even notes sexual tension is the first thing to come before the jaw-dropping plots. <laughs> yeah. And then Larissa Ione, a sizzling paranormal with dark history and explosive magic. Liar! <laughs> There's none of that in here. No, there is. There, there is. She's awesome. And I've read a few of her other um, books that aren't that have nothing to do with the Dark London series that are good. She, her writing is still good. She's super funny. I feel like she has a really good sense of humor, and she has a really good sense of characters. Yeah, like I, she gives I believe them that great with enough detail, she just shoots out there. She is able to create. <sighs> Look, I understand. Like there, these types of books are for certain people. It's yeah. just not for me. Don't force me to read book two. It was good. It has werewolves. You're gonna make me read book two. Also. And Gims. You're gonna make me read book two. I already know it. Ghosts in the Machine. That's so cool. That Come does sound on. fascinating, but again, you're promising me something that's just going to be like that is so good. colored with sexual tension. Well, and then, of course oh, yeah, it is. Ghosts. Why else should we read it? So let me know in the comments if we should read book two. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this book. It's oh, really good. I think you like it. You just don't want to admit it.